Paul is comparing the law to the law of marriage. If you are married to the worst spouse in the world, you are not allowed to divorce them because you are under the law of marriage. He is speaking to Jews who know the law because the law was given to spiritually dead Jews. He says that you are married to the old man of your death nature, as Romans 6 says, and even though you cannot keep the law because of this death nature, you are still commanded to, even though you can't. He says, but if your husband dies, you are freed from the law of your husband, freed from the law of marriage. If your old man of the death nature is destroyed in the death of Christ, then you are freed from the law to marry him that is risen from the dead, meaning you will be one with Jesus by a new nature and can bring forth the fruit of righteousness unto God, meaning you can now walk righteously. Anyone that is born again in Christ is freed from the law because he died wherein he was held and became free to marry the new man and walk righteously by nature and not be under a law that commanded him to do what he could not do. The law was given to spiritually dead Jews, not to Gentiles, nor to born-again people. So when he says, for when we were in the flesh, he is talking to born-again Jewish people who know the law. He says, when you were in the flesh, as in spiritually dead, born with a sin nature from Adam, and then given a righteous law to obey, it caused that sin nature to come forward in your life and bear the fruit of sin. But now he says we are delivered from the law because we died in Christ, freeing us to marry the new nature and serve in newness of spirit righteously because we have been born again. So do we say the law is sin? God forbid. He says, heck, I wouldn't even have known the law of sin and death was my very nature until I tried to obey a righteous law and found out I couldn't. What he is saying is if you wanted to prove to a dog he is a dog, give him a law that says thou shalt not bark. By that law you proved he is a dog because by nature he can't stop barking. But give him a new nature of another species and he can stop because he has been born again. So the law is holy, just, and good. God used the tenth commandment, thou shalt not lust, to prove that the Jews, like everyone else, were sinners. Sin took the opportunity by the law, the tenth commandment, to come forward into the emotions with an even stronger sense of lust. Paul is talking from the point of view of a spiritually dead Jew. He says, I was alive without the law once, not that he was spiritually alive, but that he was unbothered by his own nature. He just lived according to it. A tiger has no qualms about eating you because he just is a tiger. But when the law came and told me to not do what was my nature to do, sin came forward into my emotions and killed me, meaning it destroyed that blissfully unaware sense I had. The spiritually dead Jew, to whom the law was given, was always spiritually dead, always producing the fruit of sin, but when faced with the commandment to not lust, the sin of lust came forward into his emotions so that he himself could see this fruit of death that was always there.